Who's in charge of you? Can I borrow your car? No. Why? What are you afraid of? It's always something with him. Money, car, keys. No, if I'm fine, Mom. Be proud because you're a Bakersfield clown. We leave season three a little bit of a cliffhanger as Chip has uh, talked on the phone with his past love interest. Hey. Hello? Chip! And it looks like Chip might be making some sort of olive branch to his ex flame. And Dale finds a rebound girlfriend. This is Shannon. She wears a tube top, it's her thing. She's not really a good fit for the rest of the family, so Dale is heartbroken. This is an embarrassment to who I am! Christine was all up in that New Year's celebration, and Ken was trying to get her attention so that he could Christine, pop the question. I want to ask you something. Why? Martha had her surprise 50th birthday party and found out that one of the men that she thought she was dating was married. You're a mistress. Yeah. This season, we start with, what are they going to do with this big, empty rodeo? And so Chip is kind of running the rodeo, but he's not doing a very good job. Everything's taken care of, not much going on. What do you mean, not much going on? You got to get something going. That's a business. Christine and Ken, they're moving into a new home together. And so there's some growing pains. Martha has a life coach. <laughs> And she's trying to be less of a doormat. Okay, Big Chip, do you want to know what my new life coach would say? Do you have a life coach? Yeah. Well, don't you need a life first? Yeah, he's seeing a life coach under the suggestion of Martha, played by the actress. I forget her name. Um. Martha. On paper is a really good idea, but I think what happens is Christine feels like she might be losing her son to this life coach. You know, a good parent has to let go at some point, and it is a very difficult thing for Christine to let go. You need to find a serious place to live. Until you do, please come home. It's a very collaborative group. Everyone's there to make each other laugh. Louis is a joy. We giggle. It's just like two children that giggle a lot on set. We just laugh all the time. And you know, sometimes we can't help it. Working on the show is very similar to being at Disneyland. Sometimes when I leave the set, if they're still working, I don't want to leave because I don't want to miss out. It's just really nice to be surrounded with really nice folks. And Louie is a part of that. Martha certainly is part of that. I don't know if there's anybody like her on TV. You know why? They shouldn't be. I love baskets. I'm so proud of it, and I wish I could live in that world of Bakersfield baskets with that family. One of the things I'm proud about is that there's a lot of diversity, and I think it's important for people to see on TV the real world. It's definitely the highest point of my acting career. Baskets is more than a sitcom, more than a drama. I think it's like a kaleidoscope. If you keep turning it a little bit, you'll see something different. In the morning, get ready to work for baskets. I'm so excited to go to work. It's a joy to work on because I don't feel like I'm working. No, Zach, we see in the show.